when we look at orchestration plane orchestration plane is basically something that is called as v bond now your controllers are going to maintain like you're going to have a v manage then you're going to have a v v smart and you have a v bond these are your set of controllers that you that you have now if you look at that all of these controllers are connected to internet and then there is a site as well that's a site number 100 which has a vantage that is connected to internet now the final and the probably most important uh, component in the sd van is v1 because the component is so important that it provides the initial authentication for participation of the fabric and it acts as the as the authenticator of that fabric if you enjoyed the content of the video don't forget to like and share the video and subscribe to our channel okay so vanage is going to create a dtls connection with the uh, with the v bond for the first time but how does it gets the information so your vanage actually can join the overlay by using two of the methods okay it can join the network by using something called a plug and play or it can join the network by doing manual bootstrapping so we will discuss both of them what is what is plug and play plug and play is nothing but a service or you can say server plug and play which is actually hosted in cisco's data center and it is uh, publicly accessible so you log in into the plug and play by going on to software dot cisco dot com you log in onto this log in using smart account then create organization profile okay in which you specify number of vantages along with their serial number and model and, and every other thing then you also specify who is the v bond of your device sorry of your fabric so if say i'm going to have my organization i, I also need to create an organization profile and let's say i gave a name as abc to my organization profile inside that organization profile i created list of vantage but so we have to upload a list of vantage that is actually going to be part of the fabric okay in and now or in future or so on if you have the serial numbers and make and model of the device that i have 20 vantages all of them are cages that are going to be part of the fabric and the, this is the list of the devices so it will contain information of the serial number of the vantage that you have similarly there are hundreds and thousands of organization profiles that your that your PNP server maintains because it's publicly accessible, right? Binded with smart accounts. So after you create your organization profile, it gives a file that is actually called as provisioning file. Okay. And this provisioning file needs to be uploaded to V Manager. So V manager then gets to know that okay, these are the managers that are legit. These are the managers that actually needs to be part of the fabric. And the same information is given to V bond and to V smart by your vantage. So all of these controllers now are aware about the managers that are going to be part of the fabric. Are we are we good over here? Any questions? Till the so controllers uh, mm -hmm. So there could be connected between then V manage V bond and V smart, right? So they, they there need are going to be, to be the tunnels. There are going to be detailed tunnels between all of them. Okay. So, so uh, suppose we are having a profile or other stuff. Okay. So 
and mm -hmm. today I want to add one device. Okay, and after some days I want to add another device. So I need to follow the same mm -hmm. process, right? So I yeah. yeah, same same. You can you can actually log in into your V manager. And your smart how account. how that smart account will get uh um, connect with the V manager? So is there any you can way log or in anything? with your smart account? You can log in or sync your smart mm -hmm. account directly to V manager. How we can do that? Is there any way, or are we we have to place any iPad? We manage to our... GUI, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you can log in into the V Manage GUI. There is an option under the administration setting that give your V Smart sorry Smart Account credentials. Okay. Okay, we can do in the V Manager. Okay. Okay, got it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I thought we can do in our <laughs> laptop, and we can download a provision file, and we can upload that. That's that's exactly what you're gonna do. Your your vManage GUI is going to be accessible in your laptop only. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah. So you get a provisional file downloaded in your laptop. You log in into the vManage GUI, upload that provisional file, and uh, and do it. Otherwise, you can log in into the vManage directly. And uh, uh, while logging in into the GUI of vManage, you can give your smart account credentials. So you don't need to download a provisioning file and upload it no. manually. It will automatically sync with the BNP server. Okay. So once these controllers are aware about the number of vanages that can actually be part of the fabric, then what's going to happen is your your vanage gets delivered to the site. New vanage, for example, or or a, a legacy vanage that has been upgraded to the to the SD WAN image. So as soon as you connect it with the internet, the by default DNS address. The factory default DNS address on on any vanish, be it iOS XE or uh, I mean VH or CH, it is configured to be the PNP's address, the DNS address of the vanish. So for the first time, vanish will try to reach out to PNP. Then, as it reaches out to PNP, PNP will identify the serial number of that device, and it will be able to identify that which organization is this vanish part of. So. Then let's say the, the PNP is able to map it that, okay, this, this particular advantage is part of organization number ABC. Once it's able to identify that, then plug and play will reply that advantage with the VBond IP address or VBond DNS if the IP addresses are mapped with DNS. So VBond gets to Vanage gets the information of the VBond for that organization. Then Vanage attempts to create a DTLS connection with that particular VBond. And if the VBond knows, or if the VBond thinks that this Vanage is legit, because vManage has given a list of legit Vanages to VBond, if the VBond accepts that connection, then in reply, VBond will give the information of vManage and vSmart IP address. And then Vanage will try to attempt the DTLS connection with the vManage, and it will try to attempt to DTLS connection with the vSmart. And once all of these three DTLS connections are created, then your Vanage is onboarded, and all the policy creation or, or configuration that needs to be pushed, all of these you can push it via templates or things like that from vManage. That's how onboarding of your Vanage is done. Questions. Okay, suppose I have the onboarding is completed. So whether the mm -hmm. tunnel between the VBond and VH will get vanished or it will be still there. Well, in the documentation, it is said that VBond and VH maintains a temporary tunnel, but I see the tunnel is maintained throughout. It is just that the timer gets reset every 30 minutes. But do we require that between uh, suppose uh, my device is onboarded? So I don't require that. So that's correct. That's correct. You don't require that, but the tunnel is maintained throughout. That's what I have observed. Okay. So then, how VBond will uh, send information to we manage that this device is under our organization? How that we manage will create tunnel? Uh, we manage also has a list of all of those controllers by themselves have a list of valid vanish, right? Okay. See, I told you that the provisioning file is uploaded to vManage, correct? Mm -hmm. So can I say that vManage knows which are the devices that needs to be onboarded. Mm -hmm. 
Does Vbond also knows that because we manage also give the information to Vbond. Mm -hmm. And Vsmart also knows that information because we manage also give the information to Vsmart. So they all individually know that which are the legit managers. But first, the information of we manage and we smart is given to the vanage only by we bond. Initially, vanage only gets the information of we bond via PNP, right? Okay. Then vanage will try to create connection only with we smart because that's all it knows about. When we bond thinks that this is a legit device, we bond will give the information of we manage and we smart to the vanage. Okay. And then Vanage will create a tunnel with vManage and vSmart based on the information that it has. Okay, okay, got it. And that is the onboarding. Okay, so uh, this Vanage uh, do maintain tunnels with vManage, vBond, and vSmart. So are mm -hmm. these three different DTLS tunnels or the only yes. one? No, no, these are all different DTLS tunnels. Okay. Good. Yep. Now that's a plug and play way of how the communication actually can be done. You can also, now this is all automated process. You won't be able to see anything that what's exactly happening in the inside. Okay. So there is another way of manually bootstrapping the fabric as well, in which you can actually do the basic configuration onto Vanage and tell your VBond IP address manually to the Vanage that who is my van, that's who is my VBON. And after that, you can also manually add the number of uh, vanages that actually needs to be part of the fabric into the CLI. I can go to vManage, I can say request vanage add chassis number this, serial number is this. I can do the same thing in VBON and vSmart. So instead of uploading a provisioning file, I have an option to manually, um, you can say supplying the information of valid vanages to all my controllers. And when I manually configure the vbond IP address onto the Vanage, my Vanage will try to create a connection with vbond. And then same process will happen. But in that case, we don't require plug and play at all. It is all manual between the controllers and the Vanages. That's the other way that you can do it. And that's the way that we're gonna do it in our labs as well. Because not everyone has PNP and PNP cannot be tested in a virtual environment. But I'm going to show you with my smart account and how PNP works and what do you need to do in the PNP by logging in into the smart account. But for performing labs on our uh, fabric, we are going to do it in the manual way. And I would be able to show you step by step that after doing this config, this is happening. You can see that after doing that, that's happening, which I won't be able to show you in PNP because everything is done in a smack of a second. Any more questions? Yeah, I hear uh, manually uh, bootstrapping method. So in between VH and V1, is there any like uh, anything need to be verified between two devices? Uh, or is like when yes. you connect so those are device certificates that are signed by your root certificate authority. Basically, okay. all of these controllers do install certificates. Okay. okay. The the authorization is done on the basis of PKI certificates or crypto certificates. So you need to install signed certificate and that signed certificate is presented as an identity to the other controller to the vbond. Vbond will check if the certificate is signed by the same root CA that, that it trusts on. If yes, then it will onboard that particular fabric. Otherwise, if the, if the certificate is signed by some other root certificate, okay? And uh, even though the device is, the device's serial number is added onto the chassis, but still, the, the certificate will not be validated, right? So that will not create a session or the DTLS connection will be rejected in that case. So here, you know, when it comes to the V band, V bond, it will check the serial number and side, gases number and serial number of the VH, right? Yeah, and the certificate validity so, as well. Yeah. When we come to the VH, what kind of things we, it will check here in VH? Same. Same, 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 same. thing. Yeah, it will check. It will check the serial number and the say just uh, number of VBond or like no, a, no, no, no. The, the, the certificate number of uh, the certificate of, of that of that okay. particular. So how certificate will get downloaded on VH from plugin? We will be server? Do, Yeah, PNP server also has an option to do all the certification and all. 
But in our mm. case, we are going to set up an enterprise CA. Enterprise root certificate will be configured okay. in our topology. So that that's that server is going to give us a root CA. We're going to install all that root certificates onto all the all the controllers, including Vanages and Vbond and Vsmart and Vmanage. Then we will get the certificate signed by the CA, and then we will try to attempt the tunnel. But in a production, Without, it is not possible, right? So suppose my site is in US and I am doing from here. So I need to take help from plug and play, right? It is possible very much. You can because have we require, your certificate. We need someone there in the uh, you office, right? You can take the remote and do that particular thing pretty well. But mostly in the enterprises, it's it's going to be Cisco who is going to act as your CA. Mm -hmm. yep. okay. It's just for the our testing purposes that we're going to do it into the local scenario possible. Because we cannot ask Cisco to create a root set that we draw our lab environment. So we bond will check the uh, certificate and the serial number chassis number, right? Once they matches, mm -hmm. then it will uh, allow them to create a tunnel with manage and be smart, right? That's correct. Yeah. So without without communication with the V bond, uh, can I manually it's create possible. tunnel? No, it's not possible. That's why I said we bond is the most important thing. Into your family. Okay, so because authentication so part will be done by we bond and then after we'll route to we manage and be smart. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Then after we bond doesn't have anything to do in the fabric. It's all we smart and we manage. OK, got it. But again, if all of those tunnels are broken, then um, I think no, no, uh, even after that, once you get the information of we manage and we smart, then you don't really require anything or you don't require vbond for anything vbond is just there to give you the information of vmanage and vsmart once you become part of the fabric then you already have the vmanage and vsmart information on your vantage right so even after all the tunnels are broken you still uh, can create the tunnels directly with vmanage and vsmart without the need of vbond are we good that's why we say vbond is kind of the orchestration plane OK, uh, so how does this BNP and VH will be communicated? Via Internet. OK, OK. Yep. BNP is publicly exposed on Internet. You need to give the connectivity to Internet on your vantage. And because the DNS address by default is configured of PNP, the first server that it's going to communicate with is, is going to be PNP. OK. <clears throat> but in the manual, okay. way, we change address to our vbond address so first it tries okay. to communicate with vbond only in in our lab scenario okay so you mean yes, to say sir. that when we change our ios from ios xc to stban that will mm -hmm. redirect to pnp by, yeah. by default right yeah cool i think we're good then so that was the motive of uh, today's agenda where we have to get familiar with the um, orchestration, uh, the management, the control, and the data plane, and see how it works. We got familiar about the architecture and the components. We're pretty good. We're pretty good about that. The next class uh, today is when we're going to have a short one. The next class uh, is again going to be a theoretical class where we will discuss about how OMP works, how the control connections and data plane connections are established how the VPN segmentation is done, how VRFs play a major role into the SD-WAN fabric, which is all about control plane and data plane, how the OMP route work, how T-lock routes work, how colors are there, what if we have two different transports, how are the fabric is, how is the fabric going to be affected and all. All of these things are going to be discussed into the next class, which is going to be pretty important class for the entire training, I think. So let's see how that goes up, but today we're pretty good. That's all that we had to talk about. So thank you so much for joining.